Hello and welcome back. Today, we're going to be going over DC Solar. The only reason I'm going over this is because they were a NASCAR sponsor, not because I like getting into sketchy sponsors. This is the last one I'm doing because um, I just can't think of anything else and I've got better videos to do, but I thought this would be pretty cool to go over. So, DC Solar manufactures sold manufactured sold and leased solar powered electric generators and they had this guy named warren buffett investing in him i don't know if you've ever heard of him um yeah but he's pretty big um they pretty much became the exclusive sponsor of chip ganassi's xfinity program and they also sponsored kyle larson and cup i mean that, that paint scheme looks very nice and they also sponsored like tracks like las vegas like, Wash Tastain won at Vegas, and the popularity from him skyrocketed. I mean, just look at this. You can't look anywhere on this picture without seeing DC Solar. It's just plastered everywhere. And then one night, they raid the home of the CEO, and they file for bankruptcy. Um, but it turns out some of the solar generators were fake, and some of them had, like, GPS locators, but they were buried in some spots, I don't know. It's pretty complicated. Uh, Mr. Buffett poured a bunch of money into it, but he made good returns. But only because DC Solar was funneling money from other investors to Warren Buffett. They defrauded him of so much money. Like, that's called a Ponzi scheme, where you're just shuffling money around to make it look like you're making money when you're actually not. Um, it's pretty messed up. Uh, here, pause it if you want to look at that. Uh, at the time, they owed a bunch to Chip Ganassi, and they needed to pay millions to ISC-owned tracks. And, yeah, with no sponsor dollars, CGR nixed their Xfinity program and let Ross Chastain go. But, yeah, it kind of sucks for Ross. Um, Ross had a really good career going after he won Las Vegas, and he seemed to be on the right track. And then he just proceeded to take every ride he could get. And he's, he's bounced back. He's with Trackhouse right now. And he almost won a truck championship, I believe. But he's bounced back in a big way. I'm happy for him. And I hope he does well with Trackhouse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a cup race review.